Muy interesante. Gracias, amigos. Mr. Marston, how the devil are you? I'm fine. How are you, Mr. Ricketts? I'm good. I'm glad you're here because these men were just telling me about Mr. Escuela. Javier Escuela? Emilio, let me ask you something. His nombre is Javier Senor Escuela? Is Javier to see? No sé, señor. <sighs> he doesn't know. I got that bit. Ask him, was he about five foot eight? Mustache? Did he have an American in tow? A big American? Emilio, the Stabacon, uh, grind the Americano? Yo no sé. No. Ag again, I got that. But they do have his sister. Emilio's, I mean. She's a fine young woman, a teacher, a human being, not the clothed vermin so many people seem to have turned into. Tell him I'm sorry. When a man's family is involved, you need a little more enthusiasm than mere apologies. I have enough worries, sir. This man's problems pay me, but they're not quite my own. Those who sit on the fence make a choice in their own way. Don't you think, Mr. Marston? Of course. And what about you, Ricketts? A man living in the past? A man who ran away from home? What choice did you make? I'll tell you what choice I made. I'm a fighter, sir, and I'll fight to the end. I think we should get going. I'm gonna take the train. You can come with me or ride ahead to El Matadero. Están robando viajeros en las montañas de Hendidura. I've been hearing some things about you, John Marston. Really? That perhaps you're more in need of my help than I thought. Is that so? That some recent encounters with this Bill Williamson fella haven't gone exactly in your favor. Funny how everyone seems to know my business, but nothing about the men I'm looking for. It isn't easy getting the locals to talk. Let's go! It's the only way to travel, so they keep telling me. We'll get off at Casa Madrugada and ride from there. You rest, don't worry about me. I'm not too old for sleep. I'll wake you when we get there. Come on, horses are over here. Work. Come on, first stop, El Matadero. We need to find a man called Carlos. I was told he could help us. We'll ask around when we get there, but we don't want to draw attention. See if you can keep your gun holstered for once. You're the hero around here, Mr. Ricketts, not me. What does the army want with this Luisa girl anyway? She's a rebel, and apparently close to their leader, Reyes. She's a pretty young thing. That's normally reason enough for Alinde. So I've heard. She's a good woman, a teacher. If they lay a finger on her, I swear I'll feed those bastards their balls. Looks kind of sleepy, don't it? Get up! Blow it up now. All right, let's find this Carlos guy.
Carlos. Si. We're here for Luisa. Is she still being held up in the caves? Yes. She's still up there. Who's the cowboy? We're here to help. Mm, muy bien. I can distract the guards. You and the gringo can get inside. Let's do it. I will keep them talking, senor. The rest I will leave to you. Hope you're ready for this. Well, I say we've waited long enough. The entrance is down this way. Stand back, damn it! Here goes! Come on, boy! Poor girl's barely alive. Let's get the hell out of here before any more of them show up.
like Carlos left us some horses. Come on! Let's go before any more of them show up. I thought he was meeting us here. Where is he? Something doesn't feel right here. There he is. Talk about cutting it fine. Luisa, gracias a Dios. Thank you for saving me. You're a good man. Friends of the people of this land. Was someone named Harvey Escuela one of the men holding you? No. I don't know. I don't think so. But I remember that name from prison. Bad people spoke of him. I told you, John, he's still in Mexico. Okay, then. I guess we'll keep looking. Get a stack and we'll do you. I guess I accept Come your on. challenge. Best of luck to you. Te atreves a hacer trampa contra un revolucionario?
Pesos podemos retirar a mi cuarto y conocernos mejor, ¿eh? No me toques. Ay, Paul. No tengo nada. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, I thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Mr. Marston. How you keeping, sir? Just fine, thank you. And you? Oh, very well, sir. Thank God my wife died. Unlucky in love, lucky in cars. Cars on. Champagne for everyone. Keep playing, Mr. Ricketts. Oh, I'm sorry, Herr Muller. I'll keep playing you in servitude for the rest of your life on Earth, if that makes you happy. Yes, I shall indeed, sir. Well then, your deal. <laughs> oh, Marston, would you like to join us? I don't think so. I'm just gonna have a drink. Oh, come on. Sit down. Sit down. Okay, then. Gentlemen, hey. Namakshon! I wonder if you're also as lucky as Mr. Ricketts here. Mr. Marston, I hope you realize you're in the presence of one of the keenest German minds in all of Mexico. I fault. I'll take a whiskey, if you're buying, Muller. Interesting. Now, nah, Foles, looks like the table has turned. You know what I always say, Muller. If you find yourself in a hole, best to stop digging. Nothing like a game of poker to warm the soul. No, thank you. Fold! Look at that. A little beginner. You fucking cheat! Excuse me? You fucking looked in my fucking cards, you fucking cheat! Now, Herr Muller, let's calm down. There must be some mistake. There's no mistake. Your Yankee friend here is a fucking cheat. Easy there, Germany. Calm yourself down. Oh, yeah. You know exactly what you did. Yeah, I know exactly what I did, friend, which was nothing. Now, I'd prefer it if we could all play a friendly game and no one get hurt. You, you planted this guy, Ricketts. Now, why would I do that? I've already beaten you. Now calm down and let's finish the game. There's no, no more cards game. Ease up there, friend. There must be a name for this. An impasse, sir. An impasse. We could all die here and now. I'm not fighting you, Ricketts, but the Yankee him I don't like. He's done you no harm, Muller. He's done me no good either. Outside, winner takes the pot. The winner will take what he wants. The other man will be in no position to argue. Sanchez will be my second. As you wish, Germany. As you wish. Walk with me, John. I want to make sure you know how this is going to work. A duel is all about timing. If you pull your gun too soon, you'll be less accurate. After you draw, pick your shots carefully, like I showed you. Once you've picked your marks, the rest, my friend, is in the hands of fate. 
Let's get this over with. Remember what I told you. I'll show you what happens to filthy cheats. Come on, we've earned ourselves a drink. I think Mr. Muller's buying. Your health. <laughs> you, uh, the man they call Marston, see? <laughs> you like killing? Watch me cut her throat. Nice friends you got here, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> Do you, Marston. Eh, peleamos ahora, eh? We fight now. <laughs> Careful, Marston. I know that girl. Oh, madre mía! No merezco esto! No puede ser! Say, you tourists certainly bring peace and prosperity to this land. Then again, I doubt Muller will be missed. He wasn't much of a poker player. Hey, gringo. Mr. Ricketts, come on in. Sit down and have yourself a drink. Sure. Say, any word of Javier Escuela? Uh, no, nothing yet. Say, why are you after him anyway? We're old friends. We was kind of educated together. <laughs> so what is this, some kind of high school reunion sort of thing? Something like that. Well, well, you've killed people. You lived the life. <sighs> that I have. And I tried to stop. I mean, I don't know. I tried to go straight. I did. I left the gang after the gang left me. Left me to die after I'd been shot. They'd all gone crazy anyhow. Our old leader? Fellow you probably heard of. Anyway, he more or less lost his mind, went and shot a bunch of people unfair like. I got shot in a robbery. They left me, and I left them. <laughs> well, that's how it goes. <laughs> <clears throat> Already had me a woman, got me a farm, then I got me more trouble. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> been sent to track down the men I used to run with. Track them, kill them. Well, if you don't, someone else will. There's no escape. Look at me, I spent 25 years killing men. <laughs> Look at me now, sitting around here like some low-rent would-be messiah. <laughs> We're relics. Come on, have yourself another drink, and let's wallow in a little self-pity. Sounds like a plan. Your health. Mr. Ricketts. Mr. Ricketts. Thank the Lord I have found you. And you, Mr. Marston. Will you sit down? You all right? I'm well, sir. But Allende is sending more men to the death. Prisoners who have not been tried. 
a prominent writer, Castilla, and a local official whose only crime was not putting the small holders on the street when they were late with taxes. Writers and government officials. For once, I agree with Allende. Some men need to be killed. Mr. Ricketts! Nah, I was just joking. Where are they? Out near Escalera. Let's hang up our self-pity and go shoot ourselves some bad guys. You're gonna be all right. Thank you, both of you. Let's head for Escalera. shaking up. She's angry. This war is getting dirtier by the day. People are being executed for just having an opinion. Linda seems to have more enemies by the day. Perhaps you would know. Rumor has it you've been making all kinds of new friends. I don't pay much attention to rumors. Just be careful, John. Keep jumping from one side of the fence to the other. You might just get impaled on it. I have to find these two men. With respect, how I do it is no concern of yours. Choose your tone wisely, partner. Remember who you're talking to. How could I ever forget? And who are you, John Marston? Apart from a rat feeding every other hand he can find, my name means something. All you've done is kill a few peasants, and the only real outlaw you've taken on dropped you like a bad habit. Now, I politely ask you to watch your tone, Rick. All I'm saying is, maybe there's a reason why people around here don't want to talk. You must miss your family. It's the only thing that keeps me going. You know, you remind me a lot of myself. How I used to be. Stubborn and angry. You ain't changed all that much. I always thought I'd lived a charm life. I've known wealth, respect. Do you see that? Prison wagons. That must be them. This is our chance. See if you can take control of that first wagon.
Now, we'll handle it from here. I know you got other matters to attend to. It's been nice riding with you, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> and you, too. You took me back to another time. Talk to Louisa. She'll help you, and she's well-connected in that other land. I hope you find what... What do you want, gringo? What are you doing here? Have you heard? There's a war going on. My name's John Marston. I've been sent here to retrieve a couple of men. Can I speak to your commander? You want to talk to my boss, gringo? I guess. Because I'm not good enough for you? No, sir. You think you're better than me? You come to my country, my poor little country, and you think you can be friends with the president? No, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Things must have come out wrong. Maybe you can help me. You'll be sorry, friend. <laughs> relax, <laughs> amigo, relax. <laughs> sure. Somewhere between a threatening stare and the soldiers armed to the teeth? Yeah. Yeah, you had me. Welcome to Mexico, amigo! Let's come eat, drink. And then we'll talk. My name is Capitan Vicente de Santa. John Marston. My country is in pain, John Marston. Terrible pain. The rebels have seized the people by the throat and destroyed a way of life. I'm no politician, sir. And I am uh, no soldier, Aquila. Mm -hmm. But we are both beholden to our time. A brave man. Perhaps you've heard of him. Coronel Alande. He's trying to preserve the order in our province. To keep our civilization alive. But it's tough. The people are... Confused and usually swayed. Sometimes in the service of what is right, you gotta do terrible things. <laughs> it breaks my heart. I also am no moralist, sir. I wish I enjoy your freedoms, Mr. Marston. I'm trying to find a man, an American. An outlaw named Bill Williamson. I believe he came here to seek protection from another outlaw named Javier Escuela. You're no moralist, but you hunt outlaws? So it would seem. You heard anything of these men? I am the government. Or what is left of it. Outlaws seek each other. They're possibly hiding with thieves and killers who pose as freedom fighters in the hills around here. They're united under one traitor named Abraham Reyes. Where could I find this Reyes? If I knew, I would be there, hunting him with everything that is true within me. Reyes finds you. Like cholera. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> but it's possible, though. My men are trying to lure him into a trap. Possibly you could ride with us. And if everything goes okay, I'm sure the coronel will help you. Okay. Vámonos! You can take your horse or ride on the wagon. So, 
It's not far now. Are you ready? Ready for what? We will lure the rebels into a trap. There's a train leaving to Barossa soon. We're going to escort it. They will think it's a supply train. There are no supplies on it. Very clever. We must throw the rats out of their holes. Give them some bait they can refuse. Come on! The train is waiting.
did a good thing for Mexico today. Colonel Allende will be very pleased. ¡Los rebeldes están robando el tren! ¡Levántese, perezoso, que yo para que le estoy pagando! Marston, you're going to have to do something. What? You have to go out there and start that train before it crosses the bridge. Yeah. ¡Todavía levántese! Ay, ¡Usted joder. también! Ay, ¡Y allá atrás, muévase! ¿Qué le pasa a usted? Uno. ¡Ay, Dios mío, levántese! ¡Ya mismo! Hay gente buscando tesoro en dedos por ti. Interesante. That's it. Vuelve pronto. Roja, señor. 
That's mighty kind of. Best of luck to you. I'm so sorry, sir. That's mighty kind of you. Let's do this. I'm afraid I'm married. Ayuda, Marcos, 
Chardo! ¿Qué busca usted? ¿Alguna carnecita? ¿Juego de azar, quizás? I don't wish to bother you, pero I was just robado. Gracias por informar. All right there. Siéntate. Sure. Have a seat. Please don't cut that. Here we go. Estás loco. Te atreves a hacer trampa conmigo. Careful, mister. Muestra un poco de respeto. Eh, machote. Chelo te llevará al cielo. I'm afraid I'm married. Imbécil. Easy there, lady. Ahora, cobarde. Prepárate para las puñaladas de... Ya ahora 
qué? ¿Estás listo para los tiroteos de barajas? He tenido un mal Uy, qué Mistake, sir. No, thank you, my dear. How can I refuse? Hola, compadre. Todo bien. Hasta luego. Adiós. Hermoso. Pareces bien sabroso. I don't get kicks out of a rigged game. I'm sorry.
mucho. Está bien, mamá. Está bien. No. No. Ah, señor Marston. Mamá, papá. Este es el gringo que me salvó. Muchas gracias. Uh, my family is indebted to you. Forgive my English. What's happening? Great and terrible things. The revolution is coming. The country will be in turmoil once more. This time, we hope it's the last time. Does that seem likely? With Abraham Reyes, anything is possible. Where's your family going? My parents and my brother are headed to the hills. My sister has to flee. The army have an unfortunate way of treating women. And you? Don't worry about me, Mr. Marston. I'm living in history. I'm not afraid to die. Your nobility is almost as affecting as your naivete. I would rather be dead than a cynic like you, Mr. Marston. I would too. I know you're not really like that. You saved me. Uh, Luisa, ¿quién va a salvar a Miranda? Tenemos que llevar al puerto su barco sale al anochecer. No queda tiempo. Mr. Marston, can I ask one more favor of you? Can you take my sister to the docks? We are sending her to work for a kind man in the Yucatan. She's too young for revolution. Okay. Anything I can do to help out? The boat leaves at sundown. Miranda, vamos. Oh, adios, Miranda. Ten cuidado. Adios. Te amo. Emilio, where's the guy? We will take his safe boat. Este camino está prohibido. What do they want now? Act normal. It's nothing to worry about. Te conozco. Eres un pinche rebelde. Disparen! No les dejen escapar! Madre de Dios! No!
anything. Will I see you when I return? Not likely. I ain't planning on staying very long. In some other life, then? Maybe. You should get going. Travel safely. I beg your pardon, madam. Santa es muy machote. a little something for my trouble. Buenas! I persuaded him to give the money back. Muchas gracias. You can have some of the money for your help, señor.
¡Llorón! ¡Maricón! ¡Me das asco! ¡Hablas lealtad! ¡Pero eres transparente! ¡Estarás aplaudiendo cuando mi cabeza está pelado, ¿Verdad? No, 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 mi excelencia. Mis hombres y yo estamos trabajando noche y día por su honor. ¿Honor? ¿Qué eres, un muchacho? ¡Jovencito sin vergüenza! ¿Qué diablos es este cabrón? Estás también en los altos de Fir Reyes. También he hablado con ustedes. Frente a México. Hola, señor. Hola, gringo. So you are the bounty hunter, huh? Have you found your prey yet? No, sir. Ah, perhaps you come to hunt me, huh? Your country loves to make trouble in mine. Perhaps, but it isn't so. Ah, perhaps I should tie you to a horse and let it drag you around town. Or let the dogs fight you, huh? <laughs> then see what you say. I'd say the same thing. I'm here to bring two men to justice, nothing more. Your politics or ideas of entertainment are not my concern. Yeah, I suppose not. Pero son tuyos. Sinceramente, espero que me encontraste alguna compañía más interesante que esa bruja que me traíste anoche. Let me ask you this, sir. Do you know anything of the men I'm looking for? Escuela is from this province. His uh, father was a borracho. Drunk who worked as a laborer on land cultivated by my uncle. Men like that are natural allies for Reyes. My people have lived and worked here for a hundred years. We brought civilization. And these people, these fucking monkeys, despise us. We brought them God. And they turned their back on him. Now I fight to help them from themselves, to save them from themselves. I see in their faces that they would kill me if they could. <laughs> they see only a tyrant. That is the way it is. These people need a ruler. Well, sorry to hear that. Sorry? Why be sorry? It is a way of mankind. A fight between two forces. Que sara, sara. What will be, will be. But I know one thing, Senor Marston. Force, <laughs> force must be used. If you are to have your own way. I'm sure. Now, perhaps you can uh, do me a favor while I find these men for you. After we find the men, then I'll help in any way I can. Ah, ta, 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 ta. You are in no position to negotiate. Now, por favor, a bunch of these idiots men are fighting at Tesoro Azul. Now, you head there and you lend your support. Oso, ¿cuántas veces voy a decirte, no ponga detrás de mí? ¿Qué eres, cabrón? No está mi sombra. ¡Vaya! Follow me. We must hurry. Yo. So I finally met your great leader. He certainly lives up to his reputation. What would you know about leadership? Only that most can't handle power. It is easy to criticize power when you have never had it yourself. Maybe it is because you have never been in the presence of a strong man before. I have seen the pictures of your country in the newspapers. Men printing and decorating themselves. I don't know the fella. Just saying. That's how he treats his own men. Coronel Allende controls any situation he's in because he knows that situation can never be allowed to control him. It is what a leader must do. And in any case, you had not noticed, we're fighting a war. We're all under a lot of pressure. Pressure to find young girls? The Coronel needs recreation like everyone else. He does not have time to court women. He's waging a war on ignorance. And he's impatient for victory. He's trying to inspire wisdom in those more stupid than himself. My men left some time ago. We're already late. Come on, let's see if you can write. Come, whoa, whoa. Yo, la puta!
qué tardaste tanto? ¿Y quién es este gringo? Octavio, por favor. Cada hombre ayuda. I hope you fight better than this little girl, gringo. Come, let's have some fun. I heard the little horse crying in that house over there. <laughs> Remember, nobody takes them before Allende. We did all this just to get women for Allende? <laughs> no, that's just a bonus. This village is riddled with rebels. Make sure they don't have homes to come back to. There are fire bottles over there. Use them to burn down some of these houses. And what makes you think I'd do that? You want to find Javier Escuela, don't you? Done. you're helping Mexico. Vámonos, muchachos. Buen trabajo. Yo me quedo aquí para vigilar el gringo, Capitán de Santa. Get the fire bottles. It is time to finish what we started. Sígame, inútil. No me hagas sufrir, eh. No, el gringo. Stop wasting time. Isn't that beautiful? You really are pathetic. You need to relax. Come back to the villa and sample some of the new girls before they spoil.
Mr. Marston, ride with us. We've been betrayed. What's happened? If there's no time, ride with us. Then we'll find the man you seek. Come. I have men waiting for us. Just outside the escalera. Vamos! Tiene un verdadero ejército. Dicen que hay cientos de hombres apostados a Torquemada. Creo que somos muy pocos. Cállense la boca, idiotas. Son campesinos nada más. Y todos se van a morir hoy. Captain Espinosa already has men there. We must get to him before he tries anything stupid. Aston, wake up. We're almost there. Something doesn't feel right. It's an ambush! Cover us! We need to get to the camp! Captain of Tesoro Azul? Is he leading this attack? He? Spinoza does not lead anything. Follow me. We will leave the wagon here. ¿Y dónde carajo están los otros que necesitamos? Nos van a masacrar con estos bocos. Los rebeldes que tú y tus hombres se habían habido encargado nos atacaron. Ten cuidado con ese tono de voz. Master, come on. Ignore the stupid ape. Shut your mouth, office boy. Gringo. Take that sniper rifle over there.
the snipers! Hombre, lo que sea, mujer. Amigo, amigo, ¿qué pasa? Uh, 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 Killer like you, uh, he serves fine women and wine. The best pleasures earth can give a man. I need some information, to Santa. All in good time. Uh, my man and I will finish our business here, and we can talk back at Escalera. The next time I see you, I need some answers, Captain. Go get drunk, go get a woman! Enjoy life! It's a beautiful struggle! <laughs>
<laughs> What's wrong, Louisa? I don't weep for myself, but for my country. Abram Reyes has been captured. He has? He was coming to meet me at Roca Madera. It's a very romantic spot. It was a beautiful night. And he was ambushed by patrol. My heart is breaking, but I cry for Mexico. Uh, where's he being held? El Presidio. You know, in our hearts, we are married already. But his family do not approve. How could they? Well, I'm little more than a peasant girl. But that's what makes Abram the man he is. He doesn't care for their bourgeois, snobbery, or elitism. He sees the real me, the woman. I'm sure. I'm going to go and rescue him or die trying. Oh, well, well, I don't think that's such a good idea. Ride with me to near the jail. We'll figure out how to rescue him. Mr. Marston, you are truly a friend of this land. So everyone keeps informing me. El Presidio is to the north. We must hurry. Who knows what they will do to him? I'll try to make sure he stays that way. You can do this. You have God on your side. Good luck. Que Dios te proteja.
Hey, set me free. Victoria! Now please cut me free, senor. Luisa sent me. We have to meet her by the river. Okay? Luisa, the girl you're marrying. Oh, yes. Such a devoted thing. El amor de mi vida. Get one of those horses. I will ride with you, compadre. Luisa asked for my help. As I thought you were a friend of Allende's, I was planning on putting a bullet in your back. Well, try to resist the urge. How do you know my young lover, Laura? It's Luisa. I saved her life not so long back. I will not forget this, compadre. You will be rewarded. Money, women, Luisa, if you want her. I'm here for two men, and that's it. You've been spending too much time with Captain De Santa. Very funny. Not like that. I'll explain later. I am free again! I will write a poem about these days. This is from a man who was tied to a post with a gun in his face a few minutes ago. I wish I could see Agenda's face when he finds out that I defeated a hundred of his men. All you've done is get on the back of this horse, my friend, and you barely manage that. We saw his head. Buena suerte, compadre. Abraham, Mr. Marston, Oy. the revolution will live on thanks to you. Yes, indeed, young. You are as a brother to me. And my people need a man such as you to help our cause. My ranch is in Agave Viejo, and let me say, my brother, that we await you. Well, best of luck to both of you, but I need to find two men so I can return to America. Mm, no problem. I will help you find those men. And in return, you will win a people her freedom. Viva Mexico! La barona tu va, bella. Bye, John. Vente conmigo. Tu sabes que en esta luz puedo ver el fuego en tu ojos.
Andeles lindas, simpatrióticas. Dale, que ustedes son putas y lo saben. Por favor, no me obligas. Oh, mi amor, nadie te está obligando a hacer nada. Solamente quiero que animes al hombre que va a salvar a tu padre. ¿Tú quieres a tu padre, cierto que sí, linda? ¿Qué está pasando aquí, Captain DeSena? Just a little recruitment. Nothing for you to be concerned about. You boys using women soldiers now? Our costumes are none of your concern. Apparently not. The Santa Mariconcito! Me encontraste algunas chicas. Ay, mamacita. ¿Dónde has estado toda mi vida? Ven, ven, mujeres. Ay, me gusta. The two Patriots were keen to make your acquaintance, the ah, Coronel. Fantastic. I love Patriots. <laughs> ah, hey, Sir Marston, you here to fight the war? And we shall make a Patriot of you yet. I hope so. <laughs> Any word of those men? Oh, yes. I heard they were riding with Reyes. I wanted to talk to you about it. Uh, the Santo, uh, hable con él. Tell him what I wanted. Huh? His Excellency, El Coronel, would like to employ you in escorting a train down rebel country. The job is dangerous, but you'll have the honor of... <laughs> Another patriot? Of knowing that you said Mexico in her fight against forces that would destroy our society. How much you offer? 20,000 pesos. And information as to the whereabouts of Javier Escuella. <laughs> okay, then. Mexico loves you, Mr. Martin. She has a funny way of showing it. Hurry! We must go! Andale! A Chupa Rosa! Are you listening to me? Was it seem quiet to you? I don't know. You tell me. We have not seen a single rebel yet. I'd say that's a good thing, wouldn't you? Una emboscada! Abre el fuego! Doesn't feel right to me. We're on our way to escort a train through rebel-held country. An ambush feels about right to me. Soldado, quién eres? ¿Cuál escuadrón? Somos nuevos reclutas, capitán. Es nuestra primera asignación. I knew I had not seen these men before. They are new recruits. In Escalera. People have been talking about the rebels planning a large attack. If these supplies are so important, why have we been given so few soldiers? Don't ask me. You're the captain. I thought you were supposed to be fearless. I am fearless, but not brainless. There is something wrong. I feel it. Maybe you just need to take a piss or something. The colonel told me that the Santa had praised my actions at Torquemada and called me a hero. He asked for me to be given this important assignment. Why would he do that? The cabrón hates me! Yeah, but doesn't everybody hate you? Maybe we should turn back or wait for reinforcements. If Belinde says... More of them! They are above us! Is that our train? Yes, it seems to be on schedule. At least one thing is going right for us. I agree. We ain't off to a good start. Well, tell me something. What is your weapon of choice? 
What do you mean? Come, my friend. Your belt is full of weapons. Which is your favorite for attacking a man? You ain't right in the head, Captain. Do you want to know what mine is? Not particularly. We are close to Chuparrosa now. I still have a bad feeling about this. Tell me, why are you here? What did they promise you? 20,000.
Pesos and Javier Escuela. That is a lot of promises. Do you know where Escuela is? You think I am going to tell you that before you have fulfilled your obligations? Do not take me for a fool. Pero que haces, idiota? Any more games? And I will shoot you myself. Abordamos el tren. Do not think we have seen the last of the rebels. You recruits can't win a fight like this. I need you to man the Gatling gun. I ain't the soldier here, Captain. Do not question me, gringo. Just do as I say. Son of a bitch, ain't you? We have already been ambushed. Our squad is made up of new recruits, and the two men that Santa hates the most. Stop shooting! You need that ammunition! I think it is right to be anxious. Yeah, well, I wasn't exactly expecting a pleasant picnic by the seaside Don't myself. Don't point that at me!
think that's all of them. We do not have far to go. The base camp is just at the top of the hill. That was madness. You did well, compadre. Very well. Whatever I can promise you in return, you have earned it. I don't think the Santa expected us to come back from this. Did you want to kill him, or should I? No. Here we are. Thank God. We are lucky to be alive. Go to the camp. The base commander will want to speak to you. Senor Marston, thank you for your efforts. The escort was a success. At least some of your men survived. I didn't think to survive myself. My whole life I have dreamed of a glorious death. <laughs> Vamos! Rapido antes uh, que nos ataquen otra vez. These socialist pigs cannot be allowed to win. <laughs> Sumido.